Hello there, class. My name is Francisco, and my name is Marquise. And welcome to our uh, short presentation on a very relatively simple topic called modular arithmetic. Uh, it might sound scary at first, but believe me, we've all been doing it since as long as we can read time. So first we thought we'd uh, start by defining a couple of key concepts of the section. First, I'm going to start by defining arithmetic. Uh, the mathematical community defines arithmetic as the study behind the manipulation of the properties of these numbers. And uh, how we manipulate them is very simple equations like addition, subtraction, we can also multiply them as well as we can divide them. Now with modular, you have the mathematic community, which is uh, integers, uh, different stuff that you can wrap around, and then you have the modulus, as you can see. What's, What's the, the modulus? modulus? Well, we thought it'd be best to help explain the definition of a modulus with an example. So in a, in a hypothetical example, let's say that uh, Marquise is the owner of a brand new watch. Go ahead and show me your watch, keys. Show me that bedazzle. Nice, nice. Marquise is the owner of a brand new watch, and me and Marquise work together. Well, one day, Marquise is sitting very, comfor very comfortably in his desk, and I peer over and I ask him, yo, Keys, I have a very important meeting in five hours, but I don't have a clock. And I know you have a nice watch. I need you to tell me when, like, in five hours, when I need to leave. Okay. And it's 11 a.m. Sure. Now, how do you know when you're supposed to tell me that I have my appointment? I know when five hours go by. When five hours go by. However, we know that basic math tells us that 11, if it's 11 a.m., plus five hours, would equal 16. However, for this purposes, there is no military time. So hour 16 doesn't really exist, does it? However, basic human knowledge tells us that if I ask Marquise at 11 a.m. to let me know when my meeting is or my appointment is in five hours, what time is Marquise going to say? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Now, how did Marquise know that my meeting was in fact at 4 p.m. I'll tell you guys how I know. You know, in our world, we have established that the last number on the clock is the number 12. This means clocks and watches are set to mod for 12, right? So with that, what that means is that after the mod number is in this case 12, all numbers wrap around, start over again. So you have to count again. Now, this explains how Marquise knew that my meeting was at 4 p.m. Because if indeed the clock is set to mod 12, we go, we go 11, we go 12, and we go back to 1, over to 2, 3, and then finally 4 p.m. We got 1, 2, hour four and then hour five right and now thanks to modular mar arithmetic as well as Marquise's brand new watch I made it to my appointment in time and everyone's happy <laughs> well uh, now we've kind of wrote down the math behind it here we put things in terms of equations so you guys can kind of understand the way arith like modular arithmetic works on paper rather than just trying to guess it in your head. So here we have uh, the watch problem we just explained. Uh, it was 11 a.m. I asked to add 5 and the mod was 12. So now for the second part, you have to just group these two together. So 11 plus 5 would equal 16. So that gives you 16 right here. And we're still trying to solve for x, so we still have equals x, and then we're still trying to look to group for 12, so you have mod 12. So in order to group for mod 12, you have to group 16 and 12. So 
that gives you four. So now that's 12 plus four. So since Marquise just explained that 12 plus four is essentially the same thing as 16, well, we can read this. We know now that in this uh, specific problem, the mod equals 12. Well, the best way to picture this is that whatever number the mod is, in this case 12, essentially equals the number zero. Because once you reach the mod, you're going to wrap back around the numbers and just restart your count. So by grouping these numbers into the terms of the mod, we can say that this 12 right here would equal zero, just leaving us with a four. And since four is less than the mod, it should essentially fit inside the clock, should fit inside right here. So that means we have found our answer, and we just gotta rewrite it in terms of x, and we get that x indeed equals four mod 12. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed our small presentation as well as we also hope that we helped uh, further enrich your knowledge about the modular arithmetic. Thank you very much.